Hey, folks. Keith and Katie with 93 Lumber back with another beer. This beer we picked up when we went on our vacation to the Berkshires. This is, uh, it is Springdale, which is uh, Jack Jack's Abbey, Jack's Abbey's other uh, brewery. Um, <laughs> I believe it says it's brewed by yeah it's brewed by jack's abbey brewing so yeah but it's springdale it is shrub life shrub it life. is oak aged sour with red currants and hibiscus mamma mia it is seven percent alcohol by volume and uh it is springdale by jack's abbey brewing it says it right there aged minimum six months in because it's oak aged so it's aged minimum six months. Let me just read the back of this real quick. I know Katie has something uh, she would like to share with everyone. <coughs> um, we bring mm. you a shrubbery, or not really, but rather a barrel aged beer made with red currants and hibiscus. Please enjoy, or we shall say knee mm. to you once more. Uh, Springdale beer is the experimental offshoot of Jack's Abbey Brewing. We let the alchemy between beer and wood work its slow magic in our barrel room. Um, and, uh, that is it. We picked this up when we went to the Berkshires. So we bought this in Massachusetts and, uh, we bought it because red currants, both red currants and hibiscus. Uh, currants in general, red and black currants are 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 both delicious. But red currants and hibiscus are two things that we enjoy. That's your jam. Yeah. yeah. And while Katie talks, I'm going oh, to pour cool. this. Oh, cool. My turn. So it's funny because I didn't read the back of the bottle, so I have like two things to say now. Uh, other than the very apparent Monty Python and the Holy Grail uh, tribute there, um, clearly. There's also a really um, traditional style of fermentation called make, it's making a shrub, um, but instead of out like it turns into alcohol with vinegar. So it's traditionally like you soaking fruits um, chopped up with sugar and vinegar, and you let that sit for like as long as you really want, uh, at least two weeks. Um, and then it's like this almost kombucha-esque uh, syrup that you add to like mixed drinks, seltzer, Ooh. and with your water or whatever. But it gives you like um, that, I don't know, kombu it's very kombucha-esque, but it's like more of a classic style of fermentation. Oh, we should, yeah. we, should, we should try that sometime. Yeah, it's fun. I did it with um, wine berries from my backyard uh -huh. once. Yeah. All right. Well. Let us get into this. So this is not a. Uh, hold on, let me see yours because mine's big. They, they, they look about the same. Yeah, they look the same. Okay, it was just it was just me looking at it from a different angle. Yeah. That made it look different than mine, but I just wanted to double check. Um, it's a Some it's, lipstick stains. It's like uh yeah, and water stains. <laughs> you, know, you know, peak performance over here pulling out all the stops to make sure that the glassware is clean and stuff, obviously. Um, it's like a... It's an ambery caramel. Yeah. <clears throat> Warm. Dare I say burnt sienna. Mm, I wouldn't call it burnt sienna. Maybe maroon. It's a little... I don't even know what that is. It's a little lighter than that. It's a little lighter yeah. than... It's like than... slightly less burnt sienna. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, um, like a, uh, I want to say marmalade, but I feel like it's yeah. not, no. like it's darker than that though. A little bit, but I can see that cause it's like got the warm, bright tone yeah. to it and Looks the good. light at least. Uh, there's so. not much of a head on it, uh, but it's, uh, white in nature. Um, yeah, can't stir stir much up i just um, shook it back and forth so everybody knows i'm really good at this <laughs> just shake it up like a margarita 
Shall we see what it smells like? Sure. Now I know you have to stick your whole nose in it until you're snorkeling. And that's how you get the nose. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a little weird. No, I'm not going to say. This is probably wrong. But... I'm getting wood and um, sour, funky. There is, there is a slight, um, uh, I smell like cognac, like, um, I don't know, that's probably wrong, but. I don't know, I don't, I have not, uh, had enough cognac to yeah, remember. That's kind of the it, color that it is, too. Might be reminding you that that happens to me sometimes. Not saying that you're wrong, but sometimes, sometimes like a color will remind me of like a thing, and then suddenly I'm smelling that, uh, but it's not necessarily there. But no, I smelled it before I said the color, so <laughs> I'm just saying. kind of honey colored, actually. Yeah, like a, a, a like a rich raw honey. Yeah, that you want to scoop out and eat because it's all crystallized. Yeah, so I'm getting wood, <laughs> I'm getting the oak, I'm getting the sour tartness, and there is a slight herbal thing, maybe? That might be like where I'm getting the cognac kind of I can't, because it's either, it's I'm getting either the currants or the hibiscus, but I'm leaning more. Um, it smells like it's um, a fermented smell. I'm leaning more hibiscus, though. Really? Yeah. Subtle. I think the hibiscus... Mm. I don't it's hard I have to, to it, taste it. It's hard to say because the oak is so big, so yeah. the hibiscus would... But there's no, like, red I think, current. I think, like, fermented fruit smell when yeah. I... And hibiscus. Right. Let's, just, let's just get into it. Fine. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, thanks to, uh, I believe Katie paid for this, so thank thank you, Katie, for the beer. I like the way it tastes better than the way it smells. It does taste like Ooh. a shrub. It's very sweet. In a tarty way. Yeah. It's super sour. It's, like, very sour. This is up my alley. I love sours. So that's... It's sour. The oak is huge. And I find, personally with my palate, I find sour beers sometimes hard to pull out flavors because for me, I don't drink a whole lot of like super sour beers like this. Even And this isn't even like, as far as like some sours go, this isn't even that sour. Um, but like for me, like just the sourness and the, that, um, in this particular beer, the oak, um, Kind of just takes over the whole thing. See, I'm making a face right now because it's really, really, really um, tart. That's but okay. like immediately on the tip of your tongue, kind of tart, like licking a lemon a yeah. bit. <clears throat> and then th there's like a weird floral thing on the back of my tongue which i sound like a pretentious would, jerk saying no, that but it, no I, that's exactly what it is or that's exactly what i'm getting anyway um yeah i don't know if the red currants are coming through at all i'm um, sorry i just choked up unless it's a very <laughs> unless it's more of like a dried red currant but like uh the flavor that i'm getting aside from the obvious the sour and the uh, oak is like this very subtle, as you said, floral kind of herbal thing. I think and this is going to sound wrong, but uh, think about wine. Because I'm thinking like grapes, red currants, mm -hmm. they're really similar um, in like pla pla flavor profile. Um, so I don't know. It, like the end of it almost is like a whiny 
like a fruit wine. I don't know. I might be making it up. We're three and a half Miller High Lives in, so. Uh, I wonder if there's a date on this bottle somewhere. I didn't even look. Actually, I think I looked before. I think I looked when when I bought this. I think there's. I think that's a batch number. So it's probably. So I probably have to look it up, which I didn't. So. Uh, I'm a fan. It, I might be biased just because I really like the name and the idea of it. Um, and then I didn't know about the Monty Python reference, so I know about that, that kind of tapped it off for me. Topped it off. Tapped it. We're going to say tap. Tapped it off for me. Now that I'm drinking it, and now that it's warmed up slightly, I've been I've been cupping my hands around my glass to warm oh, up a little bit. It's a trick. Um, the <clears throat> for me the sour thing, the big sour tartness thing is up front, and then the oak comes in, but there's this subtle, like dried fruit kind of thing and i think that's the red currants coming through but it's but it's getting um it's like um what's the word it's it's um synonymous with the oak i don't think that's the right no. word i mean it's, it's i mean it's kind of yeah, could be yeah but it's, it's complementary it's or they're like at the, the same level yeah, they're at like they're coming through they're at the adjacent. same time yeah they're like, it's, it, yeah, the, the, I feel like the red currants add a little bit to the oak flavor. And then on the back end is when the hibiscus comes in with the, the floral or the, the floral herbal thing. Sorry, yeah. Clara's coming into the picture here. In the... Hello, Clara. Clara. Thank you. Oh, she keeps. It's kind of more uh, tart than something I would generally drink. Yeah. This is like a... a a beer that you drink with a salad. Yeah. <laughs> For real, it kind, it kind, it kind of reminds it tastes me like of salad like a, dressing. <laughs> it's like a it's like a very nice uh, like vinaigrette. a bo- yeah like yes. a vinaigrette. Yeah, yeah. For oh, you know what's so funny though? Because my whole childhood, we always had like raspberry vinaigrette. With salad. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just always thought that was my favorite salad dressing because it was the only <laughs> one I ever ate. Um, but I kind of get that vibe now that you say that. That's funny. Mm. Which kind of plays off the vinegar thing with the shrubs. So. Yeah. We've come full <clears throat> circle. Yeah, that acidity. It comes off a little bit vinaigrette. Vine- mm-hmm. vinegar vinaigrette salad dressing kind of thing yeah but but in a good way not in a bad way like i would like to put like a little bit of mix this with a little bit of like Olive maybe oil and yeah put it on and some... put it on a salad yeah that would be really good uh yeah cool I'm i glad, like it I'm, I'm glad we picked this up yeah me too i only picked mm. it because of the name Oh yeah, she she picked it because of the name Shrub Life. I picked it because it was red currants and hibiscus. I forgot about that part. Yeah. I forgot it, even though she described and explained why she liked the name so much. I forgot about that part. Yeah. Even though I knew about that part, I forgot that that's why she wanted to buy it. It's nice. Oh. It's not something I. would yeah. Drink casually, yeah. but I don't. I like. I wouldn't buy a twelve pack of this mm-hmm. and drink them. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. I just made a really bad face. It's delicious. Yeah, but it's it's, just, it's sour. Like literally, like if you were a young child and you were like, ah, 
lemon, that's the same as an orange, and then you bit into it, that's the initial tartness. Yeah. But overall, I Damn. think it's nice. Yeah. Any last comments? Um, no. I think that was... Oh, okay. I think I summarized it. I think it's nice. It's It's got the quirk, quirky, with the, uh, the name and the description. And it's pretty nice to drink it. So... I, I stiffed you a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. It's probably for the best. Looks like apple cider now, actually, because look. Yeah, poor, how, uh, I, we got the yeasties. Yeah, that that looks like apple cider. Apple cider vinegar. <sighs> so it's all on par. Uncharted. It's all themed. We yeah. love it. We love to see it. Actually, you should try it because. Oh, man. Actually, it's like a lot better. It's less. It has like a cidery taste to it. I'm probably doing the thing that you said with uh, seeing the color and matching the flavor, but it, it's <clears throat> it has like I feel like you should have turned it upside down or something before pouring it because that's it I does like that. have like that that's a form of fermentation too that like apples apple cider twang thing Ooh. that twang thing right it's a little musty. Mm. But like in a way that I enjoy, like a, a nos- I was gonna say a nostalgic basement, but that's not the right way to describe that. <laughs> um, we are it's family nice. friendly here at Night of Three Lumber. I just want to <laughs> remind everyone. <laughs> no, I just meant like, like, like a danky basement must that's familiar and friendly. That's what I meant. Not anything weird. I know. I was just kidding. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Obviously, I hope you're. If you are sharing a space with someone, as I am, you are taking care of each other or multiple people. Um, you can like this video if you would like to. You can subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And uh, you can follow me at 93Lumber on Instagram. That's spelled out, 93Lumber. And uh, where can people Well, if you follow... liked my if you liked my little shrub synopsis, get more of that <laughs> um, on Instagram at the Botanic Babe. And uh, that's just if you, if you like knowing the plants that are around you and stuff. I'll put I'll put that down no in the pressure. description as well. It's only my biggest passion. I can I can attest to that. <laughs> so yeah. We Katie and I will see you in the next one, maybe. Maybe it'll just be me. Maybe it'll be both of us. Who knows? We'll see it. You never can tell. It's a crapshoot. We like to keep you guessing. Cheers. Don't be too disappointed.